Hopefully they don't take away the whole. Hopefully they don't take take away the whole in your ship, you know, feel for an open a more open world take on it. Hopefully they at least let you keep that as your you know standard base. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, I do know one you know thing, and that's gonna be weapon creation. What? Yeah, you you'll like in the next update you'll be able to make your own weapons. Oh, talk about really making it unique for everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I'd like to see that one. When's that next update trying to drop? Ah, uh, sometime twenty seventeen. <laughs> okay. No, the reason why I'm asking is because I would like to have our alliance I would like to have my alliance emblem um completed before that and submit it so that it drops in the next major update. Yeah. yeah. But I was going to do it. The way I was going to do it, I was going to put whatever clan was going to be in the alliance, I was going to put their emblem, their clan emblem, inside of the alliance emblem so that it's actually visible. But I'm not so sure if I want to go that route. I might just put our emblem on there alone and just call it yeah. a day. Yeah. Because not for nothing, I know, at least with the Alliance, I know we'll be the steady constant. You know, because others might decide, oh, no, we want to do a different Alliance, so we're going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd have to go back, fucking change the emblem, at least with that way. Well, i just put the name of the Alliance and our emblem on there. Yeah. At least yeah. put out the controlling factor would be us. Mm -hmm. Which in the end is smarter yeah. because if if you do put your like alliance in with there as well, like there there's no guarantee that the alliance will last forever, you know. Exactly. Exactly. And so it's like when you put that little like if you were to put that there, it would probably increase morale within the alliance itself, but even then it's not going to guarantee it for lasting forever. Right, exactly. It doesn't guarantee it. It doesn't. Because I've already got an emblem pretty much designed. I'm just playing with a few pictures. I'm just playing with a few um, placement of certain things. But yeah, I'll worry about that later. I see. I did not even realize I had this mod, Drifting Contact. Where did I get that from? Don't know, but it's good. Luna. Lua, it's a drift mod. You think that's... Oh, oh, you're talking about the combo. Yeah, the combo mod, that's Stats drifting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's not a drift mod, it's just... Yeah, you're right. That's a bad one to work too. Makes your combos. Oh, yeah. That's a little longer hang your status. Right. Status chance, I know. I'm looking at it now. Because I've got Fury, Reach, Volcanic Edge, Vicious Frost, Pressure Point, Organ Shatter, Fever Strike, and Molten Impact on my melees. What the f? Guardian Derision. I never thought there was any reason for me to ever use such a mod, but... Condition Overload. Plus 10% melee damage for each status type affecting the target. That's not a bad mod. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. People buy that for about 60 to 100 platinum maxed out. Really? Yeah. That's that's actually good to know. Thank you for that tidbit of information because I didn't know that. Now I've got a reason. What's it called? Condition um, overload. Con condition overload. Condition overload. Virulent scourge. I'm already using. Virus. Oh, that's toxin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, that could take over for my freaking damage fever strike, which I don't understand why I'm, I used a. I fully leveled up a damaged fever strike. 
I must have been smoking some serious shit that day. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you had, had I want some. some. Right. Like, who full, that's, and you know what? That's not the first time I fully leveled up a damaged mod. I, I've noticed that a couple times. Whatever it is that I was smoking when I did that shit, was pretty I good. I need to find some more of that. <laughs> that's... Deal's probably selling it. <laughs> nah, that's meth. Nah, that's meth. Yeah, no, 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 we're not fucking around with that one. So crack. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, crack. Sorry. Yeah, that is a big, that's a huge difference. Where are you? That's why I'm asking where you're at. Right. Because it kind of helps us out to know where you are. We're in a big red room. Fighting this stupid bitch. She has a shield. And she's shooting at you? I broke all the braids. Okay, you broke all the braids. Did you take out the, the sentinels that she's got with her? The guards or whatever? Yes. The void dash. Her. Yeah, you got a void dash through her before she um when her shield drops, you got a void dash through her so that you take her staff from her. It took me a while to get it. You gotta wait till she just about um wait till she just about's ready to shoot. Her shield will drop right before she shoots. That's when you have to hit it. You have to time it perfectly. Um She's not shooting anything. Usually she should be shooting some kind of beam over, at least in your direction, that should, that'll knock you down. Or have you taken out Teshin yet? Yes. Is he standing around telling you what to do? Is he telling you what to do, though? Yeah, he's saying find a way to take out her shield and then knock her staff out of her hand. Right. Um, I, I just kind of, if you kind of uh, don't stand in one area, like, if you kind of move around a little bit, I think it should trigger her. Come up the main, the front ramp, I guess, right to her face. Let's see if that's, that. see if that, oh, you've done that already. I was say, see if that triggers her to, because she should be, her shield should drop, and she'll use that staff and shoot like a bolt of energy in your direction. That'll knock you down and take out your shield. And then the shield, her shield will go back up. Usually, I would say about every four 1,000s is when she should do that. So she's just sitting there, she's not shooting. Sounds like he glitched. Uh, let's see if there's like any other braids or anything or something to respawn. Yeah, because that don't sound right at all. I did have a toxic barrage. Hmm. Let me look it up real quick. Who knew? What's her name? Uh, uh, bitch. Hey. It's the queen. The um the Grenier Queen. That's it, they just go by the Queens. Hey, um, swag. Hmm. 
Remember what I said I was going to laugh if I came back to my ship and I looked in my mods and I said I have a second Volpine mask? Yeah. Yeah. I have a second Volpine mask. No. <laughs> Did she ever start shooting at you at all? No. That's, see, that's not right because she's supposed to. Dying will. So. I glitched out after you all. Say what? Oh, well, well. Not the entire, like. quest itself, but that mi one mission, yes. Yeah, if you're frozen and you have to restart your frame, you're gonna start from the beginning of that mission. And you're gonna have to go back through that all again. Awesome. Love this fucking game. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Retribution? 50% chance to deal with really damage. Like him taking out the dudes and touching Um. No. It's not gonna make him restart the whole thing. Not the whole War Within quest because there were still like a couple of missions, but the mission, the, he's gonna have to do the point where he um. He goes to the Kuba Fortress. He's gonna have to do uh all of that up until he gets to the the, the Queen's Chambers the first time. That she, you know, takes over his mind and he has to go through the caves, through the golden maws. Because remember, once he got to that point, it was no going back. Right. When he decided he was going to go to, when he left that one mission and said, hey, once you do this and you go to the Queen's Fortress, there is no turning back. So, that's the crazy part. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know how awesome that really is, but sure. If that's what you want to call it? Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't do that, though. Here's my other stance mod for the fist, Gaia's Tragedy. I want to try slow, powerful strikes. Seismic Palm. Damn, I got a ton of gold mods. That's the ones I'm looking for. Thunderbolt, that's for the bow. Yeah, I know. 